So I have started a new project. First go to Windows Package Manager and uh, once you're in Package Manager, you can go to Unity Registry and go to the Settings tab over here, Advanced Project Settings. Click on Enable Preview Packages and click on I Understand. Then you can search for Kinematica right away. Now just click on Install. Once Kinematica is installed, you can click on Samples and import the Hello World uh, sample. I have already imported it. We are going to use the model from the Hello World example. So the first thing we need to do is go to Windows, Animation, and you will see a Kinematica Asset Builder. Now you can just tuck it anywhere. For now, I'm just going to put it here. And then you will see a Create button over here. Just click on Create and create a new Kinematica Asset. Now the Kinematica Asset is created. And this is how it looks like. Currently, you will see that there is a section for animation clips. We will be adding our animation clips over here. In this section, I'm just going to add the idle animation and show you how to use Kinematica to play idle animation. So you can search idle in the packages section. In the Hello World example, Unity provided this uh, animation. So you can drag this over here. And once you click on the idle animation, you will see a default tag. Now in Kinematica, everything works according to tags. And I will show you how to create a very simple tag right now, which we will use for our idle animation. Right click, create and create a new C sharp script and you can give it any name. I'm giving it name idle tag. Now we will add the following code in the idle tag. Now understanding this code can be a bit different. So I will be making a different video about it. But in simple words, you need to understand these two things for now. So the create default tag is called every time whenever you will add this particular tag to any of the animation clips and build tag is called anytime whenever you will be building your asset i'm going to show you how this is used also you can set the name of your tag from over here so i'm just going to call call it idle tag one and save it now once you have created a tag you can come back to asset builder and then you can right click and add tag and click on idle tag one now you will see that we have added a tag to our animation clip. Now Kinematica will use this tag in order to know that this is the idle animation and it's going to use this in order to play the appropriate animation. Now we need to create another script which will actually control the animation. Right click and create a new C sharp script. So this script is telling Kinematica to play the first animation which contains the idle trait. Now if you will remember we created an idle trait over here in the script. So after you have created this script, all you have to do is go back to Unity and I'm going to bring this down over here now. Then we need to bring our character. So I'm just going to search for Byte. Now this character was in the uh, Hello World example which you must have downloaded. Now you, you will see that we have our character over here. Now you need to just attach that particular script which will automatically attach the Kinematica script because we did require a component. Now, we need an asset. So if you left click over here, you will see the asset which we created. Now you can click on that asset. Now that is the asset which contains our idle animation. Now once that is done, you need to go back to your asset. So I'm going to click here and go to my asset and you will see it needs a destination avatar. So I'm going to just search for an avatar. Now this avatar is from our biped character which was also given by Unity. So then drag and drop it over there. Once that is done, all you need to do is look at this section over here and you'll see there is an empty game on object section. Or you can also click on the target over here and click on byte, which automatically brings this in this section. Now, if you hit on the play button, you will see that your animation starts playing right away. Now, even if you're not in the game view, you will see that in the scene view itself, we can play our animation. Now to play the animation in game view, you need to click on the build button over here. If you click on build, the asset will be built and now this animation is ready to be played in the game view. So I'm going to change my camera's position. Now if I hit on the play button, you will see that we are able to play our animation in the game view as well. So this is how Kinematica works and this was a very simple example. Obviously, I was not able to explain every code in here because it might take even longer, but uh, in future videos, I will. So thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, guys.